Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you a bunch of things in housing that you might not know. And let's get right into it. There are lots of different things you can do with signs. First of all, you can make a bunch of different colors. To do this, all you have to do is put the and symbol and then a number, one through nine. If we look, one does blue, two does green, three does the, the aqua color, four does red, five does this purple magenta sort of color, six does orange, seven does light gray, eight does dark gray, and nine does this like subtle blue color. You can also use letters. If you look here, if you do and a, it will do just the same thing as it did with that, but it's like a brighter color and it goes to F. You can also make bold letters using and L and then writing your sentence. You can also make the squiggly thing, which looks like <laughs> To make it, all you do is and K in the amount of squiggles you want. As you can see, we have it slowly getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It gets smaller and smaller as it goes. You can also cross out letters by doing and M and it will cross them out with the black. And if you, if you even want to underline them, just do and N and then your sentence and it will underline it if you want to make a bold statement. And last but not least, we can have italics. All you do is and O and then your sentence. While we're on these, you can pick a color or the bold and you can mix them together and then you could have a bold color at the same time. Just make sure when you're doing this, you always put the number first. Moving on from signs, there's a couple different things. See this log here. Say you don't like how it looks on the end. Well, you can just take your nether star and you right click it until you find the way you want it. If you right click your nether star, you can go to items and then grab this teleport pad. Once you place them down, you can rename them. Like say this is Derp's house. You go to rename pad and you enter it as Derp's house. And now this teleport pad is named Derp's house. Then if you go over this one and rename it, say, planes, that teleport pad over there is yellow. So if we click this, click change destination and click yellow teleport pad, then this will go to Derp's house. So you just hop on, jump, and it'll teleport you right to that destination. Then you can always change this destination to the other one. And now we can warp to planes from Derp's house. If you really want to find a block, but you're in a rush. If you right click it, go to blocks, you can click filter and you can type in what you want. You can get launch pads, parkour blocks, and sometimes even a mailbox. The mailbox is pretty simple. You walk down, you place it, and then other people can come in, right click it, and write a book and send it to you. You can only get this if you're a certain rank or higher though. Say I have this really simple parkour here. All you do is place the blocks in the order you want them to go in. You can place the start, and then you can place up to five checkpoints in between, and then you can place the end. This is a launch pad. When you right-click on it, you can toggle the mode where it, which you launch forwards, or in the direction you face. The launch pad starts at a strength of five, but if you click on it, you can select a bunch of different strengths. A strength of one does this much? Not much, it looks like you're just jumping but a strength of 12 does this much. Launches you almost the full length of the island. So this is overall strength. You can also do vertical strength. Right now it's at five. With one, it's at this. And it'll launch you pretty far. I've placed it up here to see how far we can actually go. Here's a strength of 12 with both. Ah! Those are all the things you can do with special blocks on Hypixel Housing. Hope this helped you. See you in another video. Goodbye.